All right, guys, welcome back to another segment. No, the world normally do it. I'm always here to give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters. Yes, um, yesterday you guys got the information that um, PSG has finally increased uh, Manuel Gata's deal. That means Chelsea is off, they cannot beat that wage increment that PSG offers to the player. They cannot, they can never. You understand it's not that they can never oh, sorry sorry to use that word they can never they can but oh more but i'm really really disappointed in the scouting team and also the people that was in charge of this manual you got us deal because how can you have a player in your hand just for you to close it and grab that play and and bring it home in less than how many minutes or let me say second pierce just on the table around and the next thing you people pulled up from the deal you understand and this thing happened too one time ago when we wanted to sign this guy and uh, hakimi when we wanted to sign hakimi it was the same thing the same salary increment this uh, salary issue the salary that chelsea was offering to hakimi did not beat the one that psg was offering to hakimi and apart from the fact that the salary leave the salary aside we know they need european competition and check where we end for the table 12. so or any player with the cts now they need to see chelsea as anything like that for now based on the level we don't keep ourselves do you understand so the salary the salary i mean i'm not i know everybody's looking at the wages and this thing that was why chelsea backed that but let's go down deep apart from the wages I'm still saying it. I, I said this before this transfer is talk. That one thing that will limit Chelsea, to Chelsea in signing some certain players is because of we did not go to this Champions League. I told somebody that if Chelsea was in this state, this condition, that Enzo Fernandez will not come. Mujak will not come. Do you understand? Kulibali will not come. Some of these star players that we that we signed that did not even perform anything this season will not come to Chelsea. You understand? They will not come. And the funniest part about it, all these players we signed is that we just sign players. We just sign all these players for me, they're average players, so whether you like it or not. I've not said it, said this before, but I have to say it. All these players that Chelsea signed, they are all average players. We just we did just spend but Bodley just just went to the transfer market or just spending money anyhow anyhow he likes and after the spending waiting for result there was no result even if the coach is signed to as money he goes spend because not only that you paid you paid Brighton for paid Brighton for them to release the Graham Potter Potter come you still pay him you sack him you still paid him off just spending money anyhow now the man who uh, got her that we are supposed to sign that was almost there that was almost close just for us to seal this deal as of yesterday by 10 p.m ps just just increased the guy payments and before you know the guy just turned turn his back towards chelsea and chelsea say oh my, we cannot compete with this kind of uh, uh, deal and they backed out so i'm still saying it's not about the salary it's not only because of the salary 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 that's why this guy uh, this guy left chelsea for psg you understand it's because of the fact that there's some key competition that chelsea won't be playing next year next season you see that champions league very important european competition very important if you are not playing it you are not among you we know the uh, europa cup we know the conference we know the champions league then you want to make key player like that to come play for Chelsea. No, no. Nah. Person we don't even test. Person player we don't test Europe as small. You know, you know what you mean to play for European competition. They want me to come play for Chelsea. Ah, uh, now for you. So that is it though. Then as for Moses Castillo, well, um Chelsea are now making push to see if they can secure Moses Castillo. But information I got this morning is that it's like uh, this Moses Castillo will take another turn because number one, Brighton, Brighton are making push to see if they can sign this guy and what's his name, Louis Cowie, to the club. You understand? They are making push to see if they can sign Louis Cowie permanently in Brighton. But Chelsea are saying that the player is not for sale. And now, since they are not 
align Brighton to sign the guy permanently. That means for Chelsea to get Moses Casidio is not going to be an easy deal. For me, I'm saying that it will be a swap deal if they are going to get Moses Casidio. You understand? Because that's the only best that's the best opportunity for for Brighton to get Lewy Kawi. Because if Chelsea really wants uh, Moses Casidio, definitely Brighton will tell them to include Kawi into the deal. Irrespective of the amounts that they will bring, because if they will not include Kawi, that means they will have to raise his amount to about 100 million plus for Chelsea to sign Moses Casidio. If they are not going to get get up to that amount, that means they will have to include Kawi to the deal, then bring uh, hand it over to these guys. Them uh, and what's his name, Brighton. You understand? That's the way I'm seeing that deal. I don't know for you guys. You understand? That's the way I'm seeing this uh, Moses Casidio's deal. Because since the thing has been like this now, they know that the only player now that Chelsea will turn to to get is this Moses Casidio. Because the client rise, we don't come on hand, we don't live on fast now. Uh, Romeo Lavia, I don't know how how strong that uh, contact is for now. You understand? We just they make rumors on Twitter say maybe they just try see if they feel secure Romeo Lavia and Moses Casidio. You get me, but I don't know how strong that 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 push will look like. That that we look like for Chelsea. Gets me. For me, I would just say, let's watch how things go because me, I will not like uh, Brighton to use our our handicap life now to hook us just for them to secure Kawi as a permanent player. You get me, because Chelsea they handicap right now. Europa, we know the Champions League, we know the conference, we know the so Moses can decide that he don't want to play in Chelsea because Chelsea is not going for Europa. You understand? And also if the salary level that Chelsea is offering is not up to what he wants, definitely he will not come. You understand? Or let's say tomorrow now nah, PA Real Madrid few verse now nah, to say they want to go sign Moses Castillo or PSG. And once they offer a better payment, definitely the player will leave Chelsea to uh, to the club that is offering something better and also in a better condition. You understand? So some people when they are saying that Chelsea is not going, no problem. I told them that this Champions League, the disadvantage plenty, the disadvantage plenty. I see the deal will turn out to be another transfer saga that you people won't love to hear about. As in, and I'm not gonna like to one year about that saga at all, but we see the watch, we see the wits, you understand? Because the way they see him, Carl we will be included in that with his Casidio's deal, whether you like it or not. That is what I'm seeing in that deal, you understand? Because Brighton wants Carl we, Chelsea wants Moses Casidio, so I'm seeing a swap in that deal, and also some cash included too. To secure Moses Casidio in Chelsea, and also Real Madrid are very very serious in getting Kai Havard, and we to the fans we are very very serious for Kai Havard to leave the club too. So yeah. guys, that will be all for now. If you have anything to say, drop it at the comment section. Do it to like the video, share, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters. Thank you very much.